Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio, and today I'm gonna share with you how to animate a car icon on a map in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve we're now on the edit page and this tutorial has been requested on the comments on one of the last video on how to animate a path on a map. And the person was asking if we could animate an icon on that path. So in that case, for example, a car going from A to B. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I will link to that video in the description below. So I'll start from there. I already have this clip. If you don't know how to do it, please check that video first. And now we're just gonna check on how to animate an icon on the path. All right, so let's get started. Here I already have my clip. I'm just gonna right click on it and just create a new fusion clip. Now we can go over to fusion. If you're already in fusion because you've created that path uh, and you have your map and stuff, you can just continue right after that. So right now, first we're gonna need to have an icon. So in that case, we're gonna take a car. I would recommend going on flaticon.com. They have a lot of different icons that you can choose from. Search for car. And here I've just selected an icon from there. So here I've selected this one. It's downloading a PNG file that will retain a transparency. So now we're back in DaVinci Resolve. I'm just gonna drag here my icon in the working area and I'm just gonna link the output here to the output of the media in to create a merge and bring that into my composition. Now I'm just gonna select my media too. I'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard, search for transform, and we're gonna just bring here a transform node. We're gonna resize the car and just place it right there on the path. So I'm just gonna place it right here. I just assessed it a little bit, maybe a bit bigger like this. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna select my two nodes, bring them up right there to make some space to add some more stuff. I'm gonna want here to bring a camera shake to make the car uh, levitating a bit and having a bit of movement. So I'm gonna select my transform, hit shift space and search for shake. And here we're just gonna bring a camera shake. If I play it right now, as you can see, just crazy, it's way too much. So we're gonna reduce a bunch of stuff. Here, we're just gonna reduce drastically the X deviation. We're gonna reduce the Y deviation, the rotation deviation, and then also considerably, we're gonna reduce this speed right there. Now let's play it. As you can see, it's way better. It helps to have uh, the car being a bit more dynamic and not static. Now, before animating the car on the line, we're gonna do a quick animation in so the car doesn't pop up out of nowhere. So I'm just gonna do a bit more space again here with my media in it shift space on my keyboard and here we're going to search for another transform node bring that in and we're going to click here on the rectangular mask to add that rectangular mask around the car now we're going to keyframe the position of that transform to basically drag the car outside of the mask and have the car popping out of the mask to animating it so here i'm going to go at frame maybe 12 and i'm just going to drop a keyframe on the position and then we're just going to go at frame zero and we're gonna just drag the car out of the mask vertically. Now we're just gonna click on the rectangle and here the soft edge, we're gonna do a 0.3. And I'm just gonna add some feathering here on the edges of the rectangle. So now if we play it, the mask look a bit smoother. I'm just also gonna go to the spline editor. Here, select my transform, hit zoom to fit, select all my keyframes, hit S on my keyboard, then hit T to show the easy and use out. And here, just change that to 85. All right, perfect. So now we have the animation in for the car. We have some floating animation, so it doesn't look boring. And now we're just gonna animate the car on the path finally. To do that, we're simply gonna keyframe the position here of our first transform. So I'm just gonna place the car wherever I want uh, the car to be starting from. Then go to whatever keyframe I want the animation to start from. So here I would like the animation to start at the end of the line animation. So at frame 50, that will be good. And I'm just gonna drop a keyframe on the center position. Now I'm gonna move a few frames forward at maybe uh, frame 90, and then we're just gonna move that center position to the next point right there. So as you can see, just doing a straight line from there to there. Now if we play it, as you can see, just go from point A to point B. And now you can just repeat that process to follow up along the line. So here I'm just gonna continue and go at frame maybe uh, 110, move the position here to the next point, and repeat that again one last time here at 140 or 145, for example. And I'm just gonna move the car to the end point. But as you can see now, it's a straight line and it deviates from all current paths. So how to adjust 
this path to become a curve. Well, to do that, it's going to be fairly easy. So let's zoom in so we can see a bit more what we're doing. So I'm going to zoom in a bit in the image and now we can just select all points and adjust the curve here to make some sort of S curve. So I'm going to select the next point and here you can use those handles to just modify the shape of your line. So here we're just going to make a nice curve like so here same we're just gonna adjust it a little bit perfect all right and we should be good now let's play it and see how it looks and that's pretty much it that's how you would animate a car icon on the map i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one bye Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.